bounds. Hi guys, this is again your friendly techie neighbor Gideon Buniel and for this episode lesson number 7 we are going to build a quiz buzzer system. So stay tuned! Welcome to our lesson number 7, building a quiz buzzer system. Introduction. In quiz shows, especially entertainment activities, for example competitive answering activities, organizers often apply a buzzer system in order to accurately fairly and visually determine the seat number of a responder. Now, the system can illustrate the accuracy and equity of the judgment by data, which improves the entertainment. At the same time, it is fairer and just. In this lesson, we will use some buttons, buzzers, and LEDs to make a quiz buzzer system. Components use one Arduino Uno board, one USB data cable, four buttons, four LEDs, 4 resistor with 220 ohms value, 1 active buzzer, several jumper wires, and a breadboard. Experimental principle. Button 1, 2, and 3 are answering buttons, and 4 is the reset button. If button 1 is pressed first, the buzzer will beep, the corresponding LED will light up, and all the other LEDs will go out. If you want to start another round, press button 4 to reset. Experimental procedures. Step 1. Build the circuit. So this will be our circuit here, which will be implemented later. So as you can see, we have four buttons, four LEDs, one buzzer, and four resistors connected to Arduino Uno board. This will be its a schematic diagram. For step two, we need to program. Step three, compile the code, and step four, upload the sketch to the Arduino Uno board. After that, First, press button number 4 to start. If you press button 1 first, you will see the corresponding LED will light up and the buzzer will beep. Then press button 4 again to reset before you press other buttons. So this will be the actual demonstration of how all things are connected to each other. The 4 buttons, 4 LEDs, 4 resistors, and jumper wires to the Arduino Uno board. These are the things that we need, Arduino Uno, the LEDs. There is the 220 ohms resistors, the buttons, connecting wires, and the buzzer. So let's start building the system. Capacitive. Buzzer here. Connective. Reset, reset, and then number one, number one, enabled, then the other two buttons are disabled already. So you have to reset it to, uh, to refresh its state. And then let's go with number two, number two, and then other buttons will not turn on because button 2 is already turned on and LED 2 as well so you have to reset it to refresh its state okay again the third one the third one will light up and then the other two again um, is disabled to turn it back to its uh, first stage we have to press number 4 okay 
and but the but basically that's the setup for a quiz buzzer system so hi guys welcome again to our lesson number seven building a quiz buzzer system so this is the code or the sketch for our buzzer system now we we have a lot of um, options defining a button we all can say constant integer button one and then assign the pin number but for this code we we use the hash now as we commonly say at hashtag define so we have defined button one as pin number two define button number two as three define button three as four in pin number four and the button four on pin number nine so we have comments here so you will be guided and then the buzzer pin is connected to pin number five led one to pin number six led two to seven led three to eight and led four to ten so our button number four and led four here is the reset buttons or the reset the reset leds and button so we also define an integer as an assigned character so an int 8 flag is equal to 0 used to indicate the state of button 4 k key so and we also have an int 8 b1 state b2 state b3 state and b4 state is equal to 0 so that's the initial value that we are going to put to the b, uh, b states of the button so for the void setup we have here pin mode for the buzzer pin and led 1 to 4 we put it as an output so initialize button 1 2 2 3 as input combined with pull up so we have here the button from 1 to 4 uh, we declared it as input pull up okay and then we put the resistor there so we consider it as input pull up and then the initial value even in the digital setup so we can actually see that the all leds are turned off when connected with the power source so led 1 to 4 is low so we have a digital right led 1 low and so on so forth for the void loop we again identify the pins to make sure that the leds are turned off so read, uh, read the state of button 4 b4 state is equal to digital read button 4 so so wherever we connected the button number four button four so it reads its digital values the value or other so when button four is pressed we execute the code if b4 state is equal equal to zero so if b4 state is equal to zero confirm that the button is pressed so flag is equal to one if so flag is one G digital right um led for high so if the button number 4 is pressed, the LED number 4 is also turned on. If 1 is equal to equal to flag, so we can also say this as if flag is equal equal to 1. We execute the code. Read the state of the button of button. So B1 state, digital read, button 1. And B3, digital read, button 3. If the button 1 um, is pressed the first, so if B1 state is equal equal to zero flag is equal to zero digital right um the other leds as low remain the led one as high since it is the only button that is being pressed so if the button is pressed the other leds will not turn on and the only the led one will turn on okay if B, um, so we we execute same code here if button to press is pressed so b2 states equal to zero again flag is equal to zero only the led number two is turned on and the rest is turned off while digital read button four but if you press the button four um, it will reset to its original state same with the button number three okay and then we have here the void alarm so it has also a buzzer sound there 
for int i is equal to 0, i is less than 100, i increment, so i plus plus. Digital write buzzer pin, hi, delay 2, but only without sound when delay time switch frequency changed. Okay. So basically, that's our um, code for our building a quiz buzzer system. Stay tuned for more. You just learned how to create a quiz buzzer system. And for the next episode, we are going to learn about serial monitor. Stay tuned!